Hello friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from Part 1 to Part 20 before going ahead with 21. Now let us look at Rotational Degree of Freedom. Rotational Degree of Freedom talks about the independent rotations that specify the orientation of a body or system. As we discussed in case of translational degree of freedom, it is only about the motion of the whole body from one point to another. But rotational degree is about the rotation of one part of the body with respect to the other part to and specify its orientation. For example, this happens only in case of diatomic molecules. It is not possible for monoatomic. That's because in diatomic, there are two atoms. Diatomic molecules means molecules with two atoms. So the two atoms are bonded, joined together or connected through a bond. So a rotation is possible of one atom with respect to the other atom. So in diatomic molecules, there are translational degree of freedom because the entire molecule can move from one point to another as a whole. So they have translational degree of freedom. In addition to that, they have rotational degrees of freedom. Let us suppose these are two atoms joined together by this bond. Consider any diatomic molecule, say oxygen. So these are the two oxygen atoms joined together by the bond. So perpendicular to the atomic bond perpendicular to the interatomic axis there are two perpendicular axes one is this axis and the other one is this axis so these are two perpendicular axes for this diatomic molecule so for this molecule two rotations are possible either the molecule can rotate about this axis somewhat like this or it can rotate about this axis somewhat like this so in this diagram, we are showing the rotation about this axis, about the red axis, this axis. In this, it will rotate somewhat like this. Now let us look up, look of the rotation that will take place along this black axis. How would it be? It would be somewhat like this. So this rotation is taking place about this black axis. So that means other than the three translatory motion, they have three translational degrees of freedom, right? Other than that, they have two rotational degrees of freedom as well. Now let us look at the contribution of the rotational degree of freedom. Each rotational degree of freedom contributes a term to the energy that contains square of a rotational vibrate variable of motion. In translational variable of motion was Vx, Vy, Vz. What is rotational variable of motion? Rotational variable of motion would come from I and omega. Omega is the rotational variable of motion that is angular velocity. When I talk of linear velocity, it is Vx, Vy, Vz. When I talk of angular velocity, it should be omega x, omega y, omega z or omega 1, omega 2, omega 3. So, the contribution would be somewhat like this. If we talk only of rotational, it would be somewhat like half i1 omega 1 square plus half i2 omega 2 square. These will be the rotational degrees of freedom along the two perpendicular axes. So if we consider the total energy contribution due to the degrees of freedom for oxygen molecule that would come from three rotational degrees of free, three translational degrees of freedom that is half mvx square half mvy square half mvz square these three are due to the translational degrees of freedom plus the two rotational degrees of freedom that is half i1 omega 1 square and half i2 omega 2 square. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, 
study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.